I'm Jeannie C and I'm here to talk to you about schizophrenia and the brain. So there are a couple of things that we see um, in brain development um, for, for people with schizophrenia. Uh, one, uh, one area we, we have learned some things about is the neurotransmitters or the chemicals in the brain that are involved in schizophrenia. A lot of the research tends to be focused on dopamine and acetylcholine. So dopamine um, was uh, initially a, a focus of research because our earlier um, antipsychotic medications um, were all uh, dopamine blockers. And so we knew that if you blocked dopamine in the brain, some of the, the positive symptoms like delusions or hallucinations would uh, subside or go away. And so there, um, we know that that's implicated. Acetylcholine also seems to be um, involved as um, in, in, in interacting with the dopamine, but also uh, independently in, in some of the symptoms of schizophrenia. Um, we also know we're doing a lot of research too on uh, the structure of the brain in schizophrenia. What we know is that the cortex of the brain or the gray matter in the brain is thinner in people with schizophrenia and that there seems to be a, a lower uh, volume of brain tissue and decreases in um, uh, brain volumes over time. And things that contribute to, to those uh, decreases in volume include both the number of relapses um, that somebody might have on schizophrenia, so the amount of times that they get sick, um, but also the medications that we use to treat schizophrenia may decrease brain volume. So it's a bit of a catch-22. And our, our science is so crude that we don't necessarily know what um, these decreases in volume represent. However, we know that um, uh, you know, both, both the disease and its treatment may decrease volumes, which is bad news. Lots more research needs to be done about this. There's been some research too as to the um, relationship between head injury and schizophrenia. This is still largely inconclusive. We don't know that, um, we don't know for sure that if you've had a head injury, you're going to be more likely to develop schizophrenia or that it affects your prognosis. But we know that head injury has many effects on thinking and mood and behavior.